What about from a surgical standpoint? You know, we've talked a little bit about some tips and famous things, and you tell me you're nonstop parathyroid and thyroid surgeon at this point. Um, do you have a special instrument that's your favorite instrument? Do you have a special trick on finding the recurrent laryngeal nerve? Can you let us in on some of your uh, secrets over the last 30 plus years? It's hard to say that there's any one trick. Uh, one trick that I had was uh, Joel Cooper, who uh, did the first single lung transplant in America. He was my on-call roommate at Mass General, and uh, he developed this Cooper retractor uh, to put into, under the uh, sternum, and uh, uh, he had me come up to Canada. He said, why don't you watch me do a few of these thymectomies? So I went back, and I, he gave me the instrument, and uh, I started doing transcervical thymectomies. Uh, and then I said, well, this is not so bad for looking for a mediastinal, easy mediastinal parathyroid. So that's one instrument that I like. Uh, that's, uh, that's been of some help. Um, I can't think of other things that, uh, that would be particularly helpful. I think in that regard, uh, I'm one of the few uh, surgeons that have chest privileges. Uh, I only have chest privileges for thyroid, so that if I have to split the sternum, I can do that. But I have expert uh, thoracic, non-cardiac thoracic people. Uh, I don't need to do that. Uh, but I got that experience from my roommate, uh, Dr. Cooper. Uh, showing me, uh, giving me the Cooper retractor. Uh, it's amazing. We we have a Cooper retractor at the Mayo Clinic, one of my you. Canadian thoracic surgery college. Oh, that's good. Let me show you this thing, and it's yeah. interesting that you say that now. It's like, right? Yeah, uh, that, yeah. that thing really works well. Yeah. Really, really works well. 